Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Love Nation. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Love Nation. First, I want to say a shout out to you. I love you. There's nothing you can do about that. I appreciate you being a part of Love Nation. I want to start with a prayer this morning because I got some things to tell you. And the prayer is simple. It goes, Lord, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, God, for keeping us at a time like this in our lives, Lord. When nothing in our world, nothing in our world looks the same, God. But we trust and know that you are still on your throne, God. And so we stand on your promises this day. Now, God, create in each and every one of us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within us and teach us how to share love. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, 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 love nation. Good morning to you. Good Saturday morning to you. I've been up early. I didn't have my workout. I hope you guys are up moving around. It's Jace, my nap, my grandson. It's his birthday. He having a little cake and ice cream today. I'm excited about that and so excited about seeing him. I hope you guys are looking forward to something good today. If not, make something good happen today. Okay, because no matter what, in all circumstances, we have to be joyful. Okay? And trust that our God, he's, he's got us. He's got us. I talked to you yesterday about the vaccine and how important I think it is for you to get vaccinated and talk your family members and to get vaccinated. We don't want to look up and our people are the only people dying from this dreadful virus. Um, so I'm still saying pray about that and do what you can there. Um, I don't know if you guys heard, but there was a settlement reach with George Floyd family. So that's what I want to talk to you about. There was a settlement reach with that family. That settlement was $27 million, $27 million. Okay. Now, I know, hold on, y'all got orange all over my lip. I'm sorry. Okay, now, what I know is that family, I bet you they're not ecstatic. We on the outside, we will be so ecstatic. We'd be like, $27 million? Here's what I thought about that. While I am grateful that his daughter will not have to worry about how she's going to live down here on this earth without her father, Financially, she will be okay. Uh, financially, she will be able to do the things that a child should be able to do. She'll be able to go to college without coming out of college in all this debt. Um, and she'll be able to do a lot of things to honor her father. Here's where I have a problem with this settlement. Okay? The settlement, somehow, to me, it's good that the family will be taken care of. It's important that the family is taken care of. But it is also important that that officer is convicted of murder. Okay? That officer has to be convicted of murder for that money or anything to mean anything. If he's not convicted, then they have just devalued George Floyd's life. He has to be convicted, okay? And the people of Minneapolis should be furious, be furious with the police department and the city officials for having people that will commit these kinds of crimes and these big lump sums are paid out through the taxpayers, uh, the money that the taxpayers pay. And then all the government officials are going to do is just try to raise the taxes, okay? So, while I'm joyful, you know God said be joyful in all circumstances. While I'm joyful, I am trusting God and I'm believing this officer is going to be convicted of murder and this family is going to be able to put some closure to this thing. You know, let me know what y'all think. Pray about it. Let me know what you think. i uh, be more than happy to have a conversation about it. We can revisit this again. Until then, you guys have a great day. Like I said, if you're not happy today, do something to make you happy. I'm going to leave you with this thought. Give me one moment. It's called joyful regardless of the circumstances. Lord, there are days when I can't help but rejoice in what you are doing. 
But many times, the daily grind is just a rather, is just a humdrum. There is nothing to rejoice about, much less give thanks for. Or is there? Help me, Father, be joyful and thankful every day. Each day is a gift from you. Remind me of this truth today and give me a joyful, thankful heart, I ask. Amen. And the scripture comes from 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians 5, 16 through 8. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. May the Lord add a blessing to a reading of his holy word. You guys have a great day. Until we meet again, make sure you keep the peace and share love. Peace.